Hello friends, in one of my earlier videos while discussing theory of long valued rails, I told you the concept of breathing length in a long valued rail. This is the length on either side of a LWR which undergoes change in length due to change in temperature. And I also told you that beyond this length, the entire central portion of a long valued rail or continuously valued rail remains clamped and does not expand or contract due to change in temperature. Therefore, in a LWR or in CWR, we need to accommodate the expansion or contraction of breathing length only. Now, switch expansion gap or switch expansion joint is provided to take care of this change in length of the breathing length of a LWR. So, this is an expansion joint installed at each end of LWR or CWR to permit expansion or contraction of the adjoining breathing length due to temperature variations. Now, why it is provided? If you assume that the breathing length of a BG track is 100 meter and maximum temperature variation is plus minus 35 percent from the mean laying temperature in India. Then breathing length will move by plus minus 20 millimeter from its mean position. But switch expansion joints are designed to accommodate a total length movement of plus minus 60 millimeter. And it is to take care of any defect in the joint or support provided by the sleepers. Now the 60 millimeter gap is quite wide and it cannot be provided in a normal case of a fish plated joint. And therefore, we provide a switch expansion gap here. Now these are two rails of a track. And this is the known gauge face and this is the gauge face of the rail. In this case, the known gauge side of running rail on each side is machined to a reduced head width. Now, this is the machining, machining of known gauge side. Now, these two non-bent running rails are mounted with a gap in between along with a third rail. This is a third rail. And this third rail is called a gap avoiding rail and this is of predetermined length. This gap avoiding rail is securely fitted to one of the running rails with high tensile steel bolts. Now here in this case, this gap avoiding rail is fitted with this part of the rail. You can see here the steel bolts. Now these are two bolts, these are two bolts and there are no bolts here on this side. This running rail along with the gap avoiding rail fastened to it and that is called the stock rail. Now this is a stock rail in this joint. Now this other rail which is not fitted with this, this gap avoiding rail that is called the tongue rail. The non bolted part of the gap avoiding rail this part supports the machined segment of the tongue rail. Now this whole arrangement rests on five wide sleepers and these sleepers are 300 millimeter wide. It provides bond free arrangement without any thermal changes or stress concentration. And to ensure adequate contact surface and bearing, the width of the rail head is increased to 90 millimeter over the transfer length where gap avoiding rail supports machined rail. The wheel does not jump the gap. The adequate bearing surface ensures smooth guidance over the gap. Now this is the switch expansion joint which is provided at the end of the CWR or LWR. This is a breathing length of LWR on this side as well as this side. So if you look at this joint here, this is the gap avoiding rail which you see here. It is fitted with this rail and this rail. 
this part of the rail is tong rail which is not fitted with the steel bolts with the cap winding rail and this part which is fitted here with the bolts steel bolts that is called the stock rail and is a check rail check rail is provided to guide the wheel path now if you look here that is how basically it is provided these are two check rails and this is the switch expansion gap from this side or if you want to see from this side now that is two rails stock rail and tongue rail and this is gap avoiding rail there have been some issues with this single gap switch expansion joint some cases of failure of steel bolt fastening between gap avoiding rail and machined rail are reported in field and second is that when there is a loose packing on the sej the wheel pushes the stock rail down this lifts the end of gap avoiding rail of the far side and the outer wheel then hits the tongue rail on exit giving a hammering action and because of these two reasons now the trend is to provide a improved switch expansion joint and that is called a double gap sej or double gap switch expansion joint now two gaps are given here one gap is here another gap is given here and each gap provided on the joint can cater for the lwr on its side so this gap will cater to the expansion of lwr on this side and this gap on this side the tong rail is manufactured by cutting the rail vertically through the head and foot location then the two cut rails one cut rail is here another will be here then these two cut rails are joined together to make one stock rail the stock rail is joined using bolts at the web you can see these bolts here on the web of the rail and this stock rail is now considered to be static with negligible expansion and contraction in length due to temperature the lwr of each side expands and contracts at the gap while this stock rail remains static now this switch expansion joint makes use of six wider concrete sleepers three here and three here three sleeper at each gap and these mild steel angle brackets are also used to maintain the sleeper spacing on these wide sleepers that is how it looks that you have a stock rail here at this joint and then another joint is here another gap is here and these are three wide sleepers which are used to maintain the gap so friends thank you very much for watching this video i hope you liked it If you have any doubt any question you can write in the comment box